like this it's it's so special it means so much to me <laughs> Franklin, arguably the greatest female athlete on earth right now, chose not to go pro to get the college experience. And in two short years, she did. Feeling a little failure last year and a huge success this past spring. Something she sums up perfectly in this response. It's so different. Um, I've kind of said it before that collegiate swimming is kind of like a totally different sport within swimming itself. And, and just that team atmosphere, that's something that I wanted so bad. And it's something that I never could have experienced would feel like this. And the tears were definitely flowing. Um, in these past two years, honestly, just and even last year, like understanding what it felt like to get third and to watch Georgia win and, and have that gut feeling of how bad you wanted it, and then this year to be the ones running through the tunnel, to be the ones jumping in, like it just it really made me appreciate what we were able to do and what Terry was able to help us achieve. Watching the tuna freestyle with some industry experts, we were making some predictions about who would win. Most of us, me included, thought Simone Manuel could close on Franklin and win. It was possible, right? Wrong. Never doubt a superstar. Franklin owned that event. When asked about the 200 free, Franklin put it into the full context of her world-class career. Every race just is so different, and especially the, the things that surround it and the people that are surrounding me when I when I swim different times. And and so it all it all means something different. You know, London being with Team USA and doing it there, that was something completely different than, than being here and accomplishing these points for my team. And so for me, this is it's been absolutely incredible and that two free I, I was so happy that I was able to go out and I think you said this earlier but Terry looked at me right before and, and she just said make them remember you and to have a coach that believed in me that strongly and to be surrounded by my second family like that was just that will forever be one of my favorite swims in my heart not even because of the time but because of the people that I had supporting me through it. Coach McKeever was asked what it's like to have a star athlete, Missy Franklin, commit to two years in college instead of the traditional four because of Franklin's plan to represent Team USA in 2016. Here's what she said. Well, I think, I mean, that's something that we talked about the day after London when I walked into her home to recruit her and just, you know, I know where I was standing in her kitchen and it said, you know, what, what, what do you want in this experience? And we talked about how it needed to be two years and that she had a, an opportunity leading into the Olympics because of what she did in London. And it's, um, you know, that in this scenario, she can have the best of both. And um, I think that's, that's pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Franklin hasn't officially said where she's going to train this summer for the World Championships or for the Olympic Games in 2016. And it appears Coach McKeever didn't know either at the end of Women's NCAA Championships. The thing I'm struck by as a, as a coach where you'll spend, you know, four years or with a young lady day in and day out, and then there comes a time where now you're not going to see them every day, you, you know, and that's, that's just kind of, it's just kind of weird sometimes, and, and um, you know, those it's, we, we talked a lot about, they're just, they're transition moments. They're not goodbyes, they're transition moments. And so um, this is a transition. And you know, where it goes from here, that's, we'll figure that out when, when it's time. You know. Franklin could return to Coach Tom Schmitz at the Colorado Stars, where she had great success, or she could stay with Coach McKeever at Cal, or she could do a combination of both. It doesn't appear she'll opt for a completely different coach, but we simply don't know. One thing is certain, Franklin's grown up a lot at Cal. You hear it in her voice, her message, which transcends in an authentic way for anyone trying to achieve in sport. The reason I chose Cal was because Terry cares just as much, if not more, about making great women and 
if they happen to become great swimmers, she's a pretty good coach, so that happens along the way as well. But she places her importance on preparing us for life, on using swimming as a way to teach us about how to handle hard conversations, how to handle disappointments, how to get back up when you've been knocked down, and how many times in life are we going to experience those moments with jobs, with families, with, with everything. And, and that's what sport, for me, is all about. That's what I want to get young kids involved in sports for, is because you learn these lessons and you get these relationships that it's so hard to find in other places. And, and the things that I've been able to learn through those setbacks, believing in myself, using the people around me, not being afraid to ask for help, and just being completely 100% okay with, with just being me at all times and knowing that I'm accepted for that. Franklin's going pro is perfectly timed. 90% of Olympic endorsements for superstars close the year before the Olympic Games. Major deals happen now. Missy Franklin has an industry powerhouse at her back. William Morris Endeavor and the International Management Group, WME, IMG. How does one person perform in the pool and in business and in life? Coach McKeever gives us a little insight into what makes Franklin, Franklin. Well, she looks at life with, with rainbows and unicorns. And <laughs> <laughs> Terry looks at life as the sky's falling a lot of times. Um, and I just, um, you know, that that's in her DNA and it's in my DNA to kind of um, think the sky's falling and you know for what reasons I don't, I don't know but it's it's it that rubs off you know and I think there's a little bit of my the sky's falling could like that is helping her too you know so so I think it's um, you know that's the thing I've learned and um, I've been most struck by um, this, a lot of the superstars in my program that have taken their own journeys, and, and Missy's definitely an example of, um, you know, doing what her heart says, not what other people think she should do. And um, I think that, um, and what she just said, that's the greatest gift she could give me, more than the points or the championship or whatever. If that's really how she feels, then I, I, I'm, I'm good with what I was able to help her with. It's, it's really honestly impossible too. Um, there are so many feelings right now, um, but the main one is just pride of being a golden bear, of having gold and blue running through my veins for the rest of my life. Like this is just something that's never gonna change. I am going to remember these three days for as long as I live. And that's just something that's so incredibly special and it's a little wet too. <laughs> <laughs> What do you Probably need for time for tonight? one or two more questions. Oh, pizza. I think we're <laughs> load up on some pizza. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. to sit there. That's oh, kind so of wet. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, careful. No, you're good. Can I come here? Yep, that's the result.